YouTube, it's your boy Fishing King Hook City TV. And look, man, I'm not gonna show y'all no fishing today, okay? A lot of people have to understand that there's more to it than just running out there on the lake and catching fish. Wish it could be that simple, but it ain't. This is what we've done today, though, man. As y'all know, I use the live scope from Garmin. Garmin live scope. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna show you my head unit. What I wanna do, man, is get you guys to see exactly what it is that I use when I'm out there on the water. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, so the first thing I want to talk about is this Garmin. So what we're using, man, forgive the screen, ultra dirty, I know, but we use the 1222, which is a 12-inch screen. It's a GPS mapping unit um, that has the uh, uh, live scope capabilities, man. So this is what we're using. I love it for the knob. This is a nine-touch screen unit, but I love it for the knob and the um, I get to have the favorites buttons down here at the bottom, the one, two, three, four. I only use two of them actually have uh two card slots one for my mapping card another one to save waypoints and that kind of thing again it goes down i know a lot of people have a lot of different ones that they use there's the garmin 126 v and 93 sv and all that kind of stuff i just needed a simple unit that did a simple thing because y'all know that we use these hummingbirds as well but that's that man i got a little bit more to show you as y'all know i used to have a uh, hummingbird nine helix nine that went here. So if anybody ever sees this empty and wonders what's going on here, I did have a, a, a Hummingbird nine inch unit um, that I kept up here for mapping. I actually sold it because I was supposed to get another one. It didn't happen. But right here is what I want to show you guys, man. This is where the uh, 1222 is mounted. And we do have that mounted on the Cornfield Crappie Gear Mount. All right, you can find that at Cornfield Crappie Gear. Man, I'm not affiliated with those guys at all. So you can let them know I told you about it, but that's about as far as that's gonna go Another important part man to this whole setup guys is y'all know that I use the Minn Kota Ultrix We use the Minn Kota Ultrix. This is just an 80 pound thrust um, We do have the longer shaft I opted with the longer shaft Because we have a deep V boat. All right, so that's the reason why a lot of people with deep V's are not going with the Garmin um trolling motors the garmin force is because they don't make one for these deep v boats but this is an actual 60 inch shaft and it is the ultrix now here's the part everybody's been asking about they say ken let me show y'all so guys i'm just gonna show y'all something there's there's this part here everybody always looks at these videos and they say ken what is that thing that you are holding guys this is a hydraulic hose okay with the t-handle on it now look i want you to follow this all the way down and what you're going to see is a mount that mounts up under our ultrix guys this is the mount from low pro rod rack you can find them on facebook low pro rod rack now i'm going to show you something that i did so what i did guys if you look hope y'all can see that stamped onto this mount is the directional arrow so as we turn this hydraulic hose it'll move but what happens is from a seated position it is really hard to see that so what we did first thing i did is i added one more uh, i added a zip tie that would actually extend beyond the actual mount so that i could see it from a seated position so anytime you use this and you want to use this technique you need to make sure every time you get in the boat that arrow is lined up with your zip tie all right now check this out I had to add a second zip tie because now dad sits on the left, or excuse me, dad sits on the right and I sit on the left. So from a seated, so from a seated position, let me see if I can lower that down y'all. Easy, easy. All right, that's far as I need to go. So from this seated position right here, dad has a hard time seeing this one. So what we did is added a second one for dad to see and we also have to make sure that one is true and then my passenger whoever's in the boat with me can see this 
from a seated position. So he'll be over here like this and he'll be able to tell what's going on with that zip tie. So again, guys, if you wanna use the low pro rod rack as an option to not have it on the trolling motor, love it for that reason. Love it for that reason. Um, you have to have either an Ultrex, a Minn Kota Ultrex, or a Garmin Force. Now, here's the, here's the other cool part to this. So what makes this mount so special is that it's on a separate shaft. If you could just kind of, so again, this bolts under. I put an extension plate on here. You do not need this, but it was something that I personally wanted. So we made it and did that. But again, from the hydraulic hose all the way down to the shaft. And here's the shaft and here is my um, live scope transducer. All right. So when I turn the hydraulic hose, it then turns my transducer and I do not, well, right now I am, I don't know why, but I usually will not hit my uh, my uh, trolling motor shaft. So there is a, um, a good reason to do this, man. I know a lot of people say that you want to be hands-free. Me personally, man, I don't, hands-free is not as big of a deal for me. Um, and then I sit from a seated position. That's one thing I want you guys to notice. Most of the people that like to use the live scope on the uh, trolling motor shaft are usually standing or sitting in a butt seat, an elevated position. When you're in one of these Millennium seats or something like that, um, it's okay to use this, man. I'm very comfortable with it. And I can just put this pretty much in my lap when I'm not using it. And then take my left hand and turn it with my rod in my right hand. Y'all see it in the videos, man. Look, if y'all are liking this information, do me a favor. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any more questions about this. So guys, I wanna show y'all one more important thing to this whole game. Um, I know a lot of people have a lot of different ways that they run this stuff. I'm not gonna get into how it's ran in my boat. Yes, I have the black box. Um, yes, this is the trolling motor, uh, transdu or the transducer, excuse me. Yes, that is the transducer. But I wanna show you how we have this thing powered. Come with us to the back. So I've already unhooked it, man, because we had a day of fishing. And if y'all want me to show you what the day of fishing was like, I can show you that too. But this is what I want to show y'all, man. This is something that I'm so grateful for, man. Um, I want to give a shout out to Amped Outdoors uh, for sending me this 48 amp hour battery. Guys, let me see if I can get this, this baby out of here. You talking about a baby. You talk about a baby, let's, uh-oh. Well, we gotta fix that though. But I'm gonna show y'all this real quick. Man, 48 amp hour lithium from Amped Outdoors. And let me tell you something, man. This thing runs my 10 inch uh, Humminbird Helix Mega Gen 2, as well as the Live Scope and the Black Box all day, no issues no power drops or, or issues like that man but i love this thing man it has a great little three-year warranty on it um 48 hour i would suggest it also comes with a uh a charger y'all check them out man again um no affiliation i don't have any codes or anything like that but i do like great products and if you like great products too you don't want to have um any worries you want to have that sense of security when you're on the water that you're going to be able to run your electronics for a full day y'all check out these uh amped outdoors lithium batteries man and literally this is how much i mean i don't know how much this thing weighs i would give it a good 10 10 pounds at best seriously if that this thing is very very light um and very very um worth it very much worth it man but that's the lithium battery those are the things i want to show y'all man listen in the comment section if there's anything y'all want else y'all need to know about my setup any more questions don't be afraid to hit me up in the comment section guys i read every single comment and listen we may also talk about these later on so every thursday night at eight o'clock i go live okay every thursday night eight o'clock central standard time we go live i'm answering questions we're having a good time and we in that thing with prayer to my lord and savior jesus christ if you'd like to be in that man come to the channel thursday night eight o'clock we can talk about this kind of stuff we're going to talk about fishing it's going to be a clean platform we have folks moderating this thing so that it doesn't get out of hand with any of the crazies man hope y'all enjoyed the video Mandel. 
Listen, I got I got my man Swamp out here. Let me let me tell you. Before I end it, now y'all know I'm a little crazy. Y'all know I'm a little crazy. We got out of here and we smoked these fish today. Okay, so I'm just gonna y'all y'all eat crappie soup. Do y'all eat crappie soup? Thumbs up. Comment say y'all eat crappie soup. Let me hear about it. If you never had crappie soup, maybe that'll be a catch clean coup. But let me take you let me take you to the donkey. Pool. So today, listen. Some days, guys, let me tell you something. Some days, you're the nail. Some days, you're the hammer. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth. We started out as the doggone uh, nail. We were getting hit all upside our head. But then we made a few changes. And I tell you what, man. We got some crappie soup. Man, look. I mean, I, get on back in there. Oh, Lord, he bite me. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Guys, had an awesome time out here at the lake today, man. But listen, if y'all like crappie soup, there's gonna be more of this, man. Y'all check out some of the latest videos, man. We got some hot content coming out. Um, we're also gonna be doing some more, uh, we're also gonna be doing some more hunting. Guys, if y'all wanna see more rabbit hunting videos, hog hunting videos, we got that stuff in store, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Again, let me know if you have any questions. We got donkeys, y'all. It's your boy, Fishing Jr.